Hi guys, we're back with another tactic. Mm, what to do here? I'm white. I can of course deliver various kind of checks with queen, with pawn, and I'm about to get mated, so I should be in hurry. One check I see is queen f4 forces the king to move and there is no way to defend it with the piece or pawn. So, where does the king goes? King goes up or down. Or king, of course, cannot go up because I will check the rook and that's very bad for him. It's almost immediate lose, uh, losing move. So, king stays in the back rank. He stays in the back rank and uh no, then I can go queen f7 and threaten to mate on b7 or on the other hand I can push the pawn let's give this check and think later so queen f7 queen c7 both of them are options maybe queen c7 is better because queen f7 he plays rook b7 Ah, the downside of both of them, the downside is that he gives a check to my king. He gives a check to my king. Um, where does my king go? So I think maybe queen c7 is the right move. Because if he give a check to my king at uh, e4 with the rook, then my king should go upward. The only place I see is King G4. G5, sorry. King G5. And because Queen is at C7, in this position, Rook cannot go to E5, give it a second check. Its Queen cannot uh, grab the G pawn and give it a check, but the best downside is that he can give it a check with a pawn. In this case, he checks with the pawn with pawn h6 i still continue my journey to upward the board i go to uh, i go to f6 perhaps and i still he doesn't have any no then he doesn't have any further check he doesn't have any further check but at this position he cannot also defend with the rook and it's a mate so basically he cannot give a check with the rook Oh, he did anyway, so we go up. Oh, he didn't see this one coming, but uh, doesn't change the main idea. Oh, wait a moment. I go up. He gives check. I go behind. Uh, okay, okay, this is a little bit difficult then. Mm, I go up. Mm, I go up the board to F6. Then he gives check at, uh, do I need to go to f6? Maybe I can go to f5 actually. Because at f5 he has one check of course with the bishop. But that's all, right? Because on f6 the difficulty is that he goes to, he goes to g6 and gives check. And then I don't know what to do anyway. I, I cannot, I cannot go to, I'm not sure if I can or I cannot, but maybe I cannot go to f7 because enables his bishop to give check. I'm saying if I want to let his bishop to give me check at some point by letting him to check me here. Hmm? Uh, let me uh, let him check me later. Let him check right now and grab his rook. So let's uh, evaluate mm, king f5. King f5, the only check I see is bishop no, d3. Then I take the rook. No, his queen is active. His queen is active and he can say check with the queen. I go back to my favorite square g4. And then... Uh, okay, sorry, I was on g4, his queen said check at g4. I go back to like uh, my 
h4 square and then i don't see follow-up check uh, there is a follow-up check but my queen my pawn everything can defend it hmm let's do it be brave yeah it worked so this is this looks very easy like i no, easy peasy i take the knight check ah it's not that easy peasy because I take the knight check and he performs discovery check with the bishop. This will be discovery check with the bishop. And then what's the continuation for white? Uh, I move my king away. I have two squares, f8 and d7. I guess d7 is a more logical square. King d7... Then he may give another check with the queen on, you know, for example, on d5, d4, sorry. And then I run to uh, c8 and there is nothing afterwards. So it's too easy. Isn't something suspicious here? Oh, uh, after d7... He gives check. Uh, uh, he gives check with the queen at the e7. I go down to c8 anyway. Uh, what is his next check? His next check could be at. Could be at I don't know at the same place that he is right now at e5, and then I go to height in b7 and there is nothing coming. Very odd very odd of course i shouldn't go to f7 right or f8 or should i no it's mate immediate mate so this is a uh, force uh, okay i didn't expect this and now what should i do should i take with the queen or i think i take with the queen it's fine we are up whole lot of material or we aren't we have two rooks, two pieces, our opponent has also two pieces and two rooks. If we lose one of the pieces, uh, but uh, we win his uh, bishop anyway. So let's take it with the queen. Oh no, come on. Come on, chess.com, how he could survive this? I mean, even if I take with the queen, how can he survive this game? He escapes with the king. Oh no, my mistake. So don't rush, guys. If you got the first two moves correct, then don't rush. This looks again a very simple pawn push h6, kick the knight, win the bishop. What's the point of this puzzle then? Uh, let's count the pieces after this exchange. After this exchange, um, we are not up anything, right? This is a strange. It shouldn't work like that. We should win some material. So winning the knight itself is not a fantastic in the, or bishop alone is not a fantastic achievement, especially that. Oh, we are up material. We have four pieces. So let's push it away. And I don't know, just take it and then take the bishop. What's this? I mean, are you sure this is 2800 puzzle? Or puzzle rush puzzle? I, I have no idea, no clue what. Okay, so, so this one first, I push the knight to f3 and attack his queen and then put my queen on h3, delivering mate. First, I thought that I should play queen h3, but first I should fix the pawn and attack the queen. But if I do that, if I do that, he doesn't move the queen, he instead pushes the pawn. And once I take the pawn with the pawn, he attacks my knight. Anyway, I think I should do that. Oh, he did. Oh, he did. 
No, I take with the bishop and then I hope that it's end of the day because once he takes, I take back and then... Oh, wait a moment, wait a moment, wait a moment. I shouldn't take back that easily, right? Because once I take back, this uh, chestnut composer is quite tricky actually. When I take back, the b I take the bishop. He takes with the f pawn and enables his queen to defend the mating attack. This isn't what we are looking for, is it? What if I take the pawn first? And yeah, I take the pawn with the knight. And if he takes, of course, I take with the mate. If he takes my bishop, I make a discovery check and mate. And and what else he can play? I mean, I don't see any move. Wow, tricky move, tricky game. Like uh, I was about, I was about to take this bishop, and then everything was a cool. Also here, I uh, I don't know why he moved the queen. Why he didn't play this move? Of course, I take, but then he can move the queen. Yeah, the game is a little bit complicated, right? I take here. Why he cannot attack? I take. Ah, because uh, he doesn't have time to take. Because anyway, I, my queen goes there. Right. Tricky puzzle. Tricky puzzle. Next one. Mm, the knight versus bishop. So I want to push the pawns and make them queen. Why not pushing the pawn right away on a7? Once he grabs the pawn, I push the other pawn. And it's, it's end of a day. I, I have no clue. I have no clue why this is in this range. Oh, it was so easy. At least we are back to 2900. Uh, let me tell you what happened here. I, I think there is nothing to explain. Because the king comes close. And then I also go close. And the bishop has no chance to capture my pawn. That's all. Because bishop is black square. Bishop, my knight of my pawn is already in black square. And there is no chance for bishop to move and attack my bishop. Because once it moves, I push the pawn and make it queen. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.